Well, it, we've been in grid. We've been in grid that we have to subject ourselves to these like boot camp things. No pain, started, no gain. No pain, no gain. And I understand that. Mm -hmm. However, the pain comes if you think about when I said January first, you commit. The fifteenth, you quit. The pain starts on the sixteenth. Is when you fell and you gave up. Mm -hmm. If you said January first, I'm going to have a purpose. My purpose is to, you know, I got to lose. Guy comes up to me, and goes, I want to lose 25 pounds. That's boring. That's a goal. Goals push. Purpose pulls. You have to set up a purpose. And what I mean by that, a guy says, Hey, man, I want to meet a girl. I want to, I want to eventually get married, and and I don't want to look like a slum anymore. That's purposeful. That's going to get you out of bed in the morning. A woman may say. You know what? I want to be the first person not to have diabetes, breast cancer. I want to go to college. A pull. A child may say, "Hey, I want to be a teacher when I get older. I want to." Do that. They have purpose. They're pulling. We have to regress to progress. When we were eight years old, we were told, "You can you, this, this." You had dreams, your hope, and then maybe a little bit later, someone said, "No." Go back to when you're eight years old and think about what it is that drove you. So, what I mean by that is this: create a purpose. And every day recite how you're going to achieve that purpose. Set a time frame. And I'm not talking about 10 years. I'm not talking about six months. Go after a year. Say, I always say about every year I start by December 31st, 2020, next year be 2021. What, when I read my letter for the first time, I'm going to say, how close was I to my purpose? How much did I pull? It's, it's quantum figures. It's the laws of attraction. So when people are saying, wait, well, what about the exercise program? What, what, what about, when does that start? The minute you exercise positivity in your mind is the, is the minute that your body will start to change. And in 1994, when I first went to the University of Arkansas, we had one, I think it was like 36 national titles at the time at that point. We all sat in the room. We all were brought in as new recruits. The first thing we did, we didn't, we didn't announce ourselves who we were. We sat down as a team. They sent around a pen and a paper, and it said, write your name. And then they gave you a whole bunch of rings, and you tried on your ring size. And it said, name, and then I wrote Jay Cardiel, and then it said ring size, and I wrote nine. And it says, you know, national championship ring size. That was embedded in my head. I hadn't even gone to the track yet. I haven't even gone to my first practice. I, I left that. that meeting going, oh, man, are we going to get the red diamond? I, I love know, that. So I take that and I implement that wherever I go. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.